Well, my, hello, my honors. Algebra, this is my second video I'm making. Then right after this, probably around, oh, 630, I'll be putting your grades in the pewter, and then we'll go from there. So really, this is pretty shortcut if you know what you're doing. So again, some teachers will show you formulas, but I'm always afraid people will forget it. And I think this is better in the long run because you can find more information. <clears throat> so here, first thing I need to do is factor out that negative. So it becomes x squared minus 8x. Now, let me stop. If you have no clue what you're doing, just watch what I do. If you know what you're doing, do it first and then turn me back on so you can see if you're doing it right. Half of 8 is 4. 4 squared is 16. But I didn't really add 16. I really added negative 16. So I got to subtract 16 from this side. Now, if I wanted to graph this thing... I would have it set up perfectly. The vertex is 4, 10, and go from there. So, next one. So I need to factor out a 6. Again, do it yourself first. So half of 2 is 1. 1 squared is 1. But I didn't add 1. I really added 6. So I have to add 6 to keep it balanced. So it would be 6x plus 1 squared. So here, factor out a 4. So 4x squared minus 4x. Half of 4 is 2. 2 squared is 4. So it would be y plus 4 equals 4x minus 2 squared. So again, the vertex would be 2, negative 4. It opens up. You go from there. What would the slope be? Oh, I got you. There is no slope for a parabola. Oh, my goodness. So here, last one. Hopefully, you already did it before you watch me. I'm going to subtract the 3 to get the constant with the y. Factor out a half. Now, remember, when you factor out a number between 0 and 1, this gets bigger. Because it's half of 12x is 6x. So half of 12 is 6. 6 squared is 36. But I didn't add 36. No, I did not. I added half of 36, which is 18. So add 18. So it'd be y plus 15 equals 1 half x plus 6 squared. Now, by the way, if you didn't remember, when you factor, it's always this variable, this sign, half of this number, if you added the right thing. Now, here's your homework for Monday. Uh, by the way, this is ADX. I made a mess of it. So I actually wrote, this is ADX. <laughs> so uh, five problems should take you, oh, about eight minutes. If you're awake, now if you're asleep, it may take a little bit more time, uh, but it is due Monday. So just put it in proper form. Don't graph, don't find the VOA, don't find the intercepts. All you got to do is put it in proper form. Okay, well, hey, have a good day. I'm going to put your grades on in about 10 minutes. Well, maybe 11. Bye.